My name is Ava, and today we're going to be reading a story called The Mitten, written by Jan Brett. Thank you to G.P. Putnam Sons for publishing this story. Before we begin, this story is a Ukrainian folktale. Do you know where Ukraine is? Well, it's a country in Eastern Europe. So let's begin and see what the story is about. Once there was a boy named Nikki. He wanted mittens as white as snow. Do you know what a mitten is? Well, it's a covering for the hand where one section is just for your thumb and one section is for all other four fingers. If you drop a white mitten in the snow, it will be hard to find, his grandmother told him. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens so much that Bubba made them for him. When she finished knitting, Nikki put on the mittens and went out to play. It wasn't long before one mitten fell off. A little mole found it and crawled inside. It was just the right size, so he decided to stay. Notice how on this side of the page, it shows Nikki looking for his mitten. But on this side of the page, it shows the next animal that's about to crawl in. A rabbit came hopping by. He wiggled in next to the mole. A hedgehog wanted to get warm. The mole and the rabbit made room for him. The owl didn't want to be left out, so the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog had to move over. The little mitten was getting crowded. I wonder what the next animal is going to be. A badger looked out of his house and saw the mitten. He climbed right in. It started to snow, so a fox pushed his way in and made himself right at home. Then a big bear sniffed at the mitten. The animals were packed in tight, but the bear didn't care. He crawled in anyway. The mitten was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Will all of these animals fit in that one little mitten? Let's see what happens. Then a tiny mouse squeezed in and perched herself on the big bear's nose. The mouse's whiskers tickled the bear's nose. Ah, achoo! The bear sneezed. All the animals flew out of the mitten. Nikki saw his mitten sail up into the air. From the window, Baba watched Nikki catch his mitten. See, Bubba, he called to her. I have both my mittens. And Bubba smiled. The end. So do you remember all the animals in this story? Right, there were eight of them. Try to see if you can name two of them. I'll name all eight for you. The mole the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, the badger, the fox, the bear, and the mouse. The author also wrote the story to teach us what cause and effect is. Cause and effect is something causing something else to happen. So in this story, the mouse tickled the bear's nose, the bear sneezed, and all the animals flew out of the mitten, and then Nikki was able to find his mitten. I hope you enjoyed reading this story with me, everybody. I'll see you next time.